So you want to get bigger, but when you go to your store, you want to stay away from SARMs. Laxogen has already gotten hit by the FDA, and you don't trust any terkesterone extracts on the market because of some tests that have been done. What do you look at? Well, Project Density from Anabolic Warfare is a single ingredient product that can still take care of a few expectations in the muscle building market that will help you out there. So muscle building through managing cortisol, increasing protein synthesis, promoting muscle definition and strength. And it does it through a Similax ingredient. And it does this through 500 milligrams of Smilax Siboldi. From here on out, we're gonna call it Smilax extract. Now, Smilax is known to contain a bunch of different things, usually laxogenin. Now, why would you look for something that has laxogenin when 5-alpha laxogenin has been banned? Well, this is a natural version, and laxogenin, the 5-alpha version, is a synthetic version. No matter what the manufacturer tells you, it's a synthetic version, which is not allowed in Deshaya. By a natural extract here, you're actually getting it naturally occurring within this herb, absolutely legal to use, absolutely legal to sell, absolutely safe for consumption. If you're new to this, what exactly is laxogenin? It's a Racinosteroid, a plant-derived steroid, similar in structure and function to phytoectosteroids, which we've talked about, tercasterone, for a lot recently, but this is not going to be like that. We know that it actually tests out here all the time because it's a natural plant extract. This is going to be a lot like steroid hormones in mammals, but it's what's found in plants. It's going to coordinate growth, development of that plant that is actually creating them. Fortunately, brassinosteroids like this have no significant anabolic activity, as opposed to when we talk about, like, you know, your SARMs or your tercasterones, which may or may not act on estrogen receptor modulators, androgen receptor modulators, could possibly lead to some suppression of your own creation of testosterone and those important sex hormones that work for yourself. This isn't going to touch any of that. And in a study called Steroidal Saponins from the Rhizomes of Smilax Siboldi, researchers isolated and identified six separate components, a few of which were laxogenin or laxogenin bound compounds. One, for instance, is laxogenin 3. O alpha L aribinopyranosol 1 6 beta D glucopyranoside. Say that five times fast, which has a role of a metabolite. But a more recent study st uh, titled Steroidal Saponins from the Genus Smilax and Their Biological Activities identified even more steroidal constituents in various different Smilax plants similar to this one. This is going to include uh, furostain, colostain, spirostain, isospirostain, and pregnane. And by using a broader plant extract like this as opposed to single ingredient sources we serve two purposes here one full plant extracts can provide additional anabolic benefits that are natural cofactors in this case the main ingredient laxogenin so when you use a plant derived extract as a whole plant extract like this you're going to find multiple different constituents that work together so things that work together like if you look at like green tea and you standardize green tea for caffeine you also get some other things like l-theanine other things that work together to create a more robust effect a better experience because they're naturally occurring. Number two, full plant extracts are generally more fully compliant. Uh, legally wise, when we look at these synthesized specific constituents, quite often they don't kind of pass the test of Deshaya, which is unfortunate because a lot of them work very well, but we have to say within the bounds of the law, if we expect to expect CGMP practices, actual testing, and the, and the proper safety that we come to expect from using the system of dietary supplements, dietary supplements are safe to use because of the regulations that are imposed on them. Those people think that dietary supplements are not regulated, that's not true. FDA actually audits plenty of facilities, audits companies, audits manufacturers, and enforces regulations that helps make sure that this is all safe. But if we go without those bounds, well, you can no longer expect that safety net. So because FDA has come down so hard on 5-alpha laxogenin, using a whole plant extract like this is going to be a smarter idea. So there's some great studies on laxogenin in animals showing that laxogen has significant anabolic activity with minimal side effects. Not only does it increase muscle protein synthesis, but it also prevented muscle tissue from being cat catabolized during time of cutting, right? It's also been shown to speed up recovery, reduce cortisol, which is a really big benefit that a lot of people, I think, discount and don't realize how much it can help out with body composition, muscle protein synthesis, muscle growth, performance, and lastly, decrease inflammation, which is obviously always a help. Now, a lot of research on 5-alpha laxogenin can be kind of brought over the fence to this one because it is still laxogenin. We The studies would sort of imply that if it is naturally occurring, it would still have the same effects, if not better, because of that entourage of effect from other constituents. But I'm not so sure if we want 
to make that claim. Not really doable in terms of FTC claims. Anecdotally, however, we've seen a lot of really great benefits from using lactogen and supplements. Back in the day, we've used some different ones that are included in testosterone boosters or muscle builders. We find that it works really well. Anabolic warfare also includes in here, well, bioperin for helping with absorption. Bioperin is obviously a, a cost-effective and widely utilized ingredient for absorption. It also has some other benefits. Uh, specifically, piperine actually increases the expression of GLUT4, which is a protein that occurs in cellular membranes. It's responsible for moving glucose out of the bloodstream into muscle tissue, where it can be burned into energy or used for as purpose for performance, even synthesizing muscle protein. So could be a couple different benefits there, if not just helping out with ingredient absorption. This one's a simple one. It's easy. It's quick to talk about. It's, a, it's pretty much a single ingredient with that ingredient absorption optimizer. If you guys are looking for any information on muscle builders like this, feel free to comment below. I do have to say we got this probably for free. We have a business affiliate relationship. Our purpose here is to help convey some education so you'll understand the product a little bit better when you decide what you're going to be purchasing. Hopefully this helps you out with your purchasing process. If not this one, there's a bunch of other ones they also have in the line that along the lines of different uh, intensities or amounts of muscle or, or really the goal overall. They've got something for everyone. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.